Virginia, Virginia cordifolia, originally comes from the mountain range of the same name, which is located in the border region between Russia, Kazakhstan, China and Mongolia. In trade, the pure species of Virginia is rarely available in Germany. Most of the cultivars of the offered flower are hybrids. The foliage, for example, of the variety Winter Fairy Tail appears bright red in autumn and keeps the color until spring. Most Virginias bloom already in spring in the period from April to May. In autumn, the hybrid autumn flower forms a second flower. Here, the small individual flowers stand in panicles or umbels on stems up to 50 cm high in a mostly bell-shaped form. The early flowering varieties are susceptible to late frost, as they can be covered with snow relatively rarely in Germany. It is best to plant the flower in sheltered places in the garden. For example, in a corner protected from the east wind, but sunny. The only Virginia that is comfortable in the shade is the Kashmir Virginia, Virginia ciliata. All other species prefer plenty of sun. As a rule, Virginias are planted not so much for their impressive flowers, but mainly for the great-looking leaves, which are after all up to 35 cm in rounded form in loose rosettes on short stems. As a rule, their design is rich green and shiny. In some varieties, such as the variety Evening Glow, the foliage is also reddish in color. A great fall coloration can be observed in many hybrids in various shades of bronze, red and purple. This is a coloration that is retained until spring due to the fact that almost all Virginias here are wintergreen perennials. In winter, when the plants are enveloped in frost, this creates a magical backdrop. The variety Eroica is highly recommended, because in this plant the undersides of the leaves turn bright red. The leaves of the Virginia are real nature boys, which survive even stronger cold frosts without damage. Thus, the hybrid, Erschberg, also delights with its purple-red winter foliage. A little tip on the side, the leaf coloration is particularly splendid if the location is low in nutrients and not too moist. Because of its robustness, its leaf decoration and the fact that it can form dense stands in a short time with the help of its rhizomes, the Virginia is a popular ground cover. Its striking leaves are particularly effective when combined with grasses, ferns and perennials of a finer leaf structure and size in the spirit of Carl Furster's harp and timpani principle. Star umbels, astrantia, various sedge species, carex, or even various spurge species, euphorbia, to name a few, are very suitable for ground cover planting. Virginias also make excellent bed borders. Virginia species in particular, which are planted for their winter coloration, are now also very comfortable on stone and gravel soils in the garden. On these lean soils, there is an increase in color intensity. Tip. The most effective planting time for Virginia is spring. If planted in the fall, it should have plenty of time to take root before frost. The Virginia is usually avoided by slugs and snails. However, there are other pests that have the Virginia on their menu. One of these is the thick-mouthed weevil. An infestation of this pest is recognizable by the typical leaf feeding on the leaf edges. The main pests are the larvae. They live in the soil and feed on the roots of the perennials. Tip. The most effective treatment in this case is to treat the larvae with nematodes. Treat once in the spring and once in the fall. Basically, Virginia is very easy to care for and undemanding, if it grows mainly on a humus-rich and fresh soil. If the rains once let up, a watering can will help, although the plant is very tolerant of drought. What can not hurt in any case, if the plant is supplied with compost once in March for budding, and then again a little more restrained in June. If the burgeony should be multiplied once, the best method here is a division. But it is also possible to break the woody rhizomes with the leaves into pieces and replant.